Yeah, there's a big cleanup ahead for communities in southern Alberta, parts of southern B.C., and into southwest Saskatchewan as we see this low move its way southward and the moisture slowly taper off. Uh, widespread warnings still in effect right along the international border. The top priority would be that winter storm warning. Uh, this includes communities through the Cypress Hills Interprovincial Park through southwest Saskatchewan. Into Alberta, we've got Medicine Hat, Lethbridge, Waterton, for example. Waterton in the southwest, that's where we saw some the highest snowfall totals forecasted, 20 to 40 centimeters through the Kootenai Pass in BC and the Coquihalla from Hope to Merritt. Uh, it, part of the reason why we see some of the highest totals through those mountain passes has uh, to do with the elevation. Through Calgary, for example, under a snowfall warning, 15 to 25 centimeters of snow. Some communities in Alberta, including Calgary, saw nearly 24 hours of continuous snowfall. And that meant by midnight, the city picked up about 12 centimeters of snow. That snow continued through those early morning hours. Now there is good news save for the Kootenai Pass where the snow continues quite heavily until evening the rest of the warned area begins to see that snow lessen as the day goes on and it's nearly done by early tomorrow morning. Outside of that we have extreme cold warnings from northern Alberta all the way towards central and northern Quebec, parts of Northwest Territories and Nunavut. Uh, wind chill values range from minus 40 at the south end of that to minus 65 through portions of the territories. Outside of that for Ontario and Quebec there are a couple different things happening. We've got an Alberta clipper hitting today, but we've got a big storm brewing that hits on Wednesday, and that has prompted winter storm watches for much of southern Ontario, including Toronto, all the way down towards Windsor. Special weather statements north of that. The clipper today has prompted weather travel advisories through central and parts of northeast Ontario. Now, the snowfall totals will be hefty. Uh, 15 plus centimeters of snow for all areas in the navy blue, and that could be a conservative estimate. This will also impact eastern Ontario Ontario, southern Quebec as well. Plus, it's the freezing rain and ice pellets leading to significant ice accretion along the shores of Lake Erie. Uh, this will be a high impact travel event Wednesday night into Thursday. Plan for delays, and if you can avoid non essential travel, it's advised to do so. Back to you.